Today we're going to be talking about surface area and we start off with the definition of surface area is the area of a surface that lies in a three-dimensional space or the total area of the surface that bound a solid. And in my first example I have uh, drawn a triangular prism. Uh, this is actually a right triangular prism because it has is made up of right triangles and the triangles are directly above each other. It will have two triangle faces, triangular faces and three rectangular faces. And this, this is a triangular prism. This is a model uh, here of a triangular prism. This is not, this is more of an equilateral triangular prism. Once again, two triangular faces and three rectangular faces. So uh, when we figure out surface area, we're figuring out the area of the whole, the, the, everything that we would take to cover our prism or our poly, uh, polyhedron. So in, in our example right here, we have a uh, triangular prism and it's a right triangle, so this is a three, four, five. We're gonna have the, the total surface area is made up of the two bases and the three lateral faces. And the word lateral comes from Latin. It means to, uh, situated at or extending to the side. Um, so we're talking about those are our lateral faces and the two bases are the ones that are the triangles. So uh, the two bases, of course, would be just uh, a base times height divided by two. And the lateral faces, well, I've got three of them. I've got one of them that it's a rectangle that's three by eight. and another one that's four by eight and another one on the back is going to be five by eight and our rectangle is a, a three by four those are the two legs that are perpendicular to each other three times four divided by two so we start adding that up that's going to be twenty four thirty two and that 40 and here 12 divided by 2 that is oh but i almost made a mistake here it's more than just 12 by 2 i have two of those so i actually i have to multiply that by 2. so this the total surface area in this case would be the 12 plus 24 plus 32 plus 40 and that would be 108 square units because we are talking about area so we measure it in square units uh, if there's there's a time when we talk about lateral surface area the lateral surface area would be everything but the bases so you do not include the two triangles or if you had a hexagonal prism such as this you would not count the two hexagons you would only count the rectangles if you had a triangular, or excuse me, a square pyramid, you if you had lateral surface area, it would only be the triangles. You do not include the bases when you're talking about the lateral surface area. So the lateral, which comes to the side, or from the side. So the lateral surface area would just be those three numbers, and that would be 96 squared units. All right, so. That seems pretty straightforward. So what about shapes that are not rectangular or something like that? So a cylinder, cylinder. So a cylinder, now we're gonna to have to cover the, a curve. We have two bases, again, and then one lateral face, right? Because it's a continuation all the way around, like, like, like this. So I've drawn one with dimensions. I have a radius of five and a height of seven. Now, if I were to like draw a picture of the, everything that I'm going to add, I have two circles. Those are the two bases, and one lateral face. Well, the lateral face is going to, when I stretch it out, it's going to it's going to be a rectangle. It's like taking the outer edge of a piece of masking tape or something like that. So this one, this, these aren't too bad. This is this is two times pi r squared plus this rectangle. Well, rectangle is base times height. And the, the height on this, that's no problem. That's seven. And how long is the base? Well, that's how far it is around the circle. 
which in this case, 2 pi, uh, 2 pi r, for circumference, All right? So the area of this would be 7 times 2 pi 5. And over here, the r squared is a 2 uh, pi 5 squared plus. And that's 10 pi times 7. That's 70 pi. And there's 25 times 2, so 50 pi plus 70 pi. That's going to be equal to 120 pi. And that would be the total surface area of a cylinder. Now this is the exact answer. So maybe we should write that out, out that out. We would always, for the total surface area, it's going to be 2 times pi r squared plus, and what do we do? We multiply the height, which is right there. We'll call that h times uh, 2 pi r. And of course you can multiply that, that out and things like that, but I think it's kind of nice to understand it to where exactly the, where, where it comes from. Uh, the uh, lateral surface area, remember, would not include the bases, so it's just going to be this. Uh, so if we clean it up a little bit, that's 2 pi hr. So there you have it. There's a formula for a total surface area of a cylinder and for finding any other regular figure. Okay? All right, now let's talk about a pyramid. If we're working with a pyramid, now we still need to fi figure out the face, uh, excuse me, the area of each face. The base, if in, in this case here, is a square pyramid, so the base is not going to be any problem. It's just find the area of the square. And then we have triangles on each uh, connected to, to, to the, the, the base. So, um, there's one little new vocabulary ter term here, and it's called the slant height. The slant height is the height of each triangular ladder, lateral face. And uh, I have a square pyramid here. And the height that you, the slant height would run from the vertex perpendicular to the edge uh, down at the, uh, that's at the bottom down here and stuff like this. I think ho hopefully that you understand right there. It's, it is slanted down the edge. It's going right there. The height of the pyramid is different. The height of the pyramid is it, just how tall the pyramid is. And I have that over here in blue. So the difference between height and slant height. And you need slant height to find the area of those triangles. And if this was a square pyramid with side lengths of six and a slant height of eight, well, there's, that's going to be six here, right? Six, 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 six. And of course, the area of the base is just six times six plus we're going to have four triangles, and those four triangles are going to be base times height divided by two. And the base is going to be six, the height is going to be, the slant height is going to be eight, and we're going to divide that by two. So the surface area, and I'll say total, is going to be 36 plus 4 times 48 divided by 2. Uh, what is that going to be? Uh, that's a 96 here. And so uh, add those together, and that's 132 square centimeters. So that's the total surface area. And once again, if we were talking about lateral surface area, now the lateral would only be the part of the four triangles. And so that would be this part here of the 96 square centimeters. I hope that makes sense. Um, now, let's talk about if I have a regular pyramid with insides. So hopefully we can come up with a formula for everything. So I'm not going to tell you how many sides, but 
I am going to tell you that it's regular. So if it's regular, every one of the triangles is going to be the same. And the base is a regular polygon. So regular polygon, so total surface area. Regular polygon, one half A S N plus triangles. Well, how many triangles do we have? We have N triangles, right? And each triangle is just base times height divided by two. But base and height, well, what is that base and that height? That height is going to be the same thing as your slant height. So we're going to put L for that. The base of that triangle is nothing more than your side length. And so we're going to use the same variables because they mean the same thing. And I'll help you try to remember one half ASN, that's your base, plus we'll make it one half SNL, so or Saturday Night Live or something like that. So that's the total surface area of a regular pyramid. Yay. So that's the formula for that. Yes? All right. Taking that, I want to start now talk about making a cone. Uh, a cone. It looks a lot like a pyramid. It looks like a pyramid with a lot of sides. I could, I could imagine having 4,000 little triangles on there. Or maybe it's got a million triangles and you can't t tell. And it just all, all looks very smooth. So the total surface area of a cone is just like the pyramid. Let's, let's, so it's going to be the area of the base plus the lateral surface area. Well, what's the base? Well, the base is going to be, of course, a circle. That's pi r squared. And the lateral surface area, I'm going to look over here at what we had. This one we had, if, if it was a, a pyramid, it would be 1 half SNL. So I'm going to just write that down. 1 half SNL. Now, I don't know what SNL are because I don't have how many sides, nor do I know how long each side is. But if I think about what is S and N, that's, that's nothing more than the perimeter. If you took the number of sides times how big each side was, you would have the perimeter. But in the perimeter of this shape is a circle. Well, that just means that that is a circumference, or 2 pi r. So I substitute 2 pi r for S and L, or excuse me, for the S N, so I get pi r squared plus one half two pi r, and I still keep my l, my slant height. That's 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 the l that's going to go up there, and I need my r. Uh, so I the twos the half and the two will cancel out. So I'm left with surface area of a cone is going to be equal to pi r squared plus pi r l really nice and if you want just the lateral surface area that doesn't include this to the base you would just get pi r l nice right so and finally some questions for you you can go back in the video look over and answer something. I've got some, I've got a triangular prism that's got sides of six, seven, eight, and ten edges. I've got a cylinder with an eight centimeter radius and a twelve centimeter height. And you're, it looks like the nearest hundredth here. Uh, a regular pentagonal pyramid. Didn't draw it for you. Uh, apothem, uh, eleven centimeters, side length sixteen, slant height fifteen centimeters. I want you to find the lateral surface area and total surface area on all those. And then finally a cone. And I want the exact answer of the total surface area. Good luck. See you tomorrow.